Hi everyone, this is Heidi and this week we are talking about something that I've talked a little bit about in the past, those, um, those threads of connection between us all and it's often called the web of life. So, you know, much in the same way that a spider weaves its web, you know, very intricately, this beautiful pattern, there, there's this beautiful pattern of connection um, with, within nature and within our own personal lives. And so, you know, like in nature, there, there really is no separation. Every single thing is connected to, um, to everything else. Where, you know, like the soil, the particular soil that you have in your area, that supports particular types of plants. And those plants support particular types of animals and birds and, um, and bugs even. And, and that's all connected to, you know, what type of climate do you have? How much rain do you get? What, you know, how much sun do you get? Where on planet Earth are you? Where, you know, do you get a lot of winter sun or summer sun? So in all those ways, I could go on and on because it, it is infinitely connected. Um, and in that same way, our own human culture has those same connections. And, you know, in, in my own personal life, like I, I, have, I have some really beautiful thick threads to the people that I'm most close with in my life, you know, that I talk to almost every day um, and we have a strong connection. And, and then there are some, you know, maybe thinner, lighter threads to the other people that are still a part of my life, but I don't, I don't interact with quite as much, you know? Um, and then there's all the places that I interact. All the, you know, all the places on my land here, my, my house and my chicken coop and, um, you know, the oaks with the swings and all those places and, and, you know, the grocery store, the people I interact with at the grocery store, the, you know, so my, my tapestry is this intricately woven blanket and it probably looks very different. It's different colors and a different pattern than what yours looks like. Um, you probably have a, a beautiful tapestry that is a very different pattern because you, you have different people and places in your own life. So I, I invite you to take a moment and imagine what your own personal tapestry would look like. You know, what, what colors would it be? What, what would the patterns look like? So, you know, and in nature, just like in our personal life, there are ways that some of those threads can be broken, uh, whether it's intentional or, or an accident, right? That there are many ways, um, there are many ways that, you know, say in nature, like a big storm comes through and, and annihilates an area or a flood or a tornado. Um, or maybe a bulldozer comes through and wipes out the whole forest. Um, or maybe maybe someone who even thought they were trying to do good where there were some bad bugs taking over and they thought that they could spray a chemical and kill the bad bugs. But, but in reality, it actually killed all the bugs and probably killed all the microorganisms in the soil too. So that's one way that many, many threads can be broken all in one go. And... You know, so, and in our personal life, you know, we, we, have, we have all these connections with people and places in our life, but, you know, what happens, what happens when you move house, you move to a different area, you know, all those connections to the places that you went, they're suddenly, they're suddenly gone, you don't have that, um, you have memory of that in your tapestry, but not the same connection. And what about like when a relationship uh, is is maybe broken? There's a like someone was hurt, and so they 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 get angry and they push you away. And you know that's a way that a, a thread can be broken. Um, so this week we're gonna we're gonna actually just follow some of those threads a little bit and and just notice you know where are all of these connections and notice. If there's any broken threads that you can that you can track uh, because you know in some ways we can ask is there anything I can do to mend this thread is it is it best to try to mend it and if so can I can I do anything to help um, you know I think we've all seen a blanket that's sort of maybe tattered and worn uh, but it has maybe it's got a beautiful intricate patch sewn in you know, with that bright colored thread in the corner. And, and in many ways, 
it's it's even more beautiful that way so that's our challenge this week is to follow those threads and see if we can do some mending together all right i look forward to hearing your stories have fun